creating a new customer and adding a work order in Aptora Mobile 2 training video. The purpose of this training video is to give Aptora Mobile 2 users an understanding of how to add a new customer and create a new work order for that customer. Upon completion of this training video, users should have a good working knowledge of how to perform this procedure using the Aptora Mobile 2 website. This training video is broken down into three distinct segments. Creating a new customer, creating the work order, and practical application summary. Creating a new customer. To begin, users will log in to the Aptora Mobile 2 website. After login, users will be directed to the dashboard. From the dashboard, select the Quick Add Data View option. After selecting the Quick Add Data View option, select the Add Customer Jobs Data View option. Upon selecting the Add Customer Jobs Data View option, users will be directed to the Customer Form. When the Customer Form page opens, users will be in Edit Mode. This can be determined by the Save button being displayed in the upper right corner of the form and by the form's field appearance, which are displayed as open for editing and selectable. When the Save button is displayed, the form is in Edit Mode, which allows users to add and edit information. And when the Edit button is displayed, the user can easily determine that the form is locked from editing. The customer form in Aptora Mobile 2 is broken down into seven sections or data views. Main information. This is the first open area on the customer form and is always open or expanded as it does not feature a plus sign indicating a collapsible data view option. Enter and select the customer information requested into the fields provided and then move on to the address info data view. The address info data view option. After making the appropriate selections and entries in the main information area, select the address info data view option. Upon selection, the data view will expand and display field titles and coinciding data entry fields for entering more detailed information about the customer job. Users can enter as much information as possible and proceed to the next data view option. The Contacts Data View option. Select the Contacts Data View option. Notice that the word None displays in the collapsed data view, indicating that a contact or contacts have not been added for this customer. Upon saving the customer record in the Aptora Mobile 2 website, users or an employee in the office will need to open the customer job record in Total Office Manager, review the information, and select to save the record in order to officially save the customer record to the database. When this action is performed in Total Office Manager, the contact information fields, if filled in during the creation of the customer job record, in Aptora Mobile 2 will populate to the Contacts tab of the Customer Job Record in Total Office Manager and the Contacts Data View of the Customer Form in Aptora Mobile 2. The Notes Data View option. Upon selection of the Notes Data View option, the Expanded Data View displays a text field able to accommodate large groups of notes. Enter any notes on the customer job in this area. Once the notes have been added, the user can proceed to the next data view option. The user defined fields data view option. When selected, this data view will expand and display the word none, indicating that there are no user defined fields assigned to this record. Upon saving the customer form in your Aptora Mobile 2 website, users or an employee in the office will need to open and save the customer job in Total Office Manager. When the form is opened in Total Office Manager, any current user-defined fields, or UDFs, 
assigned to customer forms in Total Office Manager, can be edited in Total Office Manager, and upon the entry of data to these UDFs in Tom being saved, the data entered will be displayed on the customer form in the user defined fields data view in the Aptora Mobile 2 website. The Payment Info Data View option. The next data view displayed below the user defined fields data view is entitled Payment Info. Once selected, this data view will expand and display additional data entry and selection fields relative to a customer's payment information. Users may select an AR account, accounts receivable, enter a customer account number, enter the customer's credit limit, and select a payment method. After making the appropriate selections and entries, the user may proceed to the final customer form data view option. The job info data view option. The final data view option available to a user on the customer form in Aptora Mobile 2 is entitled job info. This data view upon selection will expand to display additional fields more specifically related to the particular job or project for the new customer, scope of work requested by the customer, and or type of customer the new customer will be classified as. All but one field displayed within this data view, the job details field, will be standard text or selection fields. The job details field functions as the notes data view option and is able to accommodate large body texts. Save the customer form. Once a user has completed data entry of the customer form, scroll if necessary to the top of the form page and select the save button. After saving the new customer, notice the customer form now displays action icons in the upper right corner of the form. Also, scroll, if necessary, to the bottom of the customer form page and notice the additional data view options displayed. These additional data view options provide users with quick access to the form specified and also allow users to perform a variety of actions from the customer form without being forced to leave the form to perform these actions. From here, the user is ready to create a new work order for the customer that was just created. This can be done without leaving the customer form. Creating the work order. From the top right of the customer form page, select the far right icon, commonly referred to as the add work order icon. A message box will display confirming the user would like to create a work order for the customer. Users may select the Submit button to create the work order or the Cancel button to return to the customer form. After selecting the Submit button, the work order form will open. The icons found at the top right of the form page may be used to perform a variety of additional actions. Please be aware that the icons displayed will vary based upon user security permissions. From here, a user will select the Edit button from the top right of the work order form page to begin editing the work order. Users with the appropriate permissions have the ability to edit the work order number, description, and status, add directions and notes, and general data view information fields, add items, view user-defined fields, and customer equipment, if any. For more information about creating a work order and the data view options and functions found while viewing this training video, please visit our website or contact the Aptora sales team. Practical Application Summary 
At this time, let's process this task from start to finish. We invite users to follow along and perform this process in order to become familiar with the execution of this task within the Aptora Mobile 2 website. We will begin this scenario from the dashboard. Select the Home button or Home icon to be returned to the dashboard if this has not been done already. To begin, let's create the new customer. From the dashboard, select Quick Add. Next, select the option Add Customer Jobs. Fill out the customer form with some generic information to create this new customer job. Begin by entering the main information. Next, expand the Address Info Data View option and enter in the appropriate information into the fields provided. When completed, skip over the Contacts data view and expand the Notes data view option. Enter in some notes and after entering the notes, skip over the User Defined Fields data view option and select the Payment Info data view option. Enter in any payment information that you would like and proceed to the Job Info data view option. Enter in as much information about the job into the fields provided within this data view. After entering in all customer information to the customer form, select the Save button to save the customer information entered in order to proceed to the next step of creating a work order for this customer. After clicking the Save button, you should be returned to the work order form. As you can see, the Edit button is displayed, meaning that currently the form is locked from editing. Create the work order. Begin by selecting the Add Work Order icon found at the top right corner of the customer form below the Edit button. Next, select the Submit button on the message prompt that displays, confirming the action of creating a new work order for the customer. After selecting the Submit button, select the Edit button on the work order form that opens and begin adding information to the work order form as necessary.
Once all information has been entered within all data views able to be edited, select the Save button to save the information added to the work order. Next, select the Items data view option, then the Add Items button, and add some items to this work order. After selecting the items to be added to the work order, select the Add button to add the items and proceed back to the work order form. At this time, the work order is entered completely and users may go back to check their work. Once it is determined that the work order is entered correctly, select the Home button or icon to be returned to the dashboard menu. Please be aware that the customer and work order records will need to be opened and saved in TotalOffice Manager to be officially saved to the database. Records cannot be edited or processed in TotalOffice Manager until saved in TotalOffice Manager. This concludes the Creating a New Customer and Adding a Work Order Aptora Mobile 2 training video. For additional information about the other icons and features found on the form seen in this training video, please visit our website where more training videos specific to these features are provided, or speak with an Aptora sales representative and inquire about our other great products and services. Thank you.